What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today we're gonna have some fun with the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum and the 500 Line, but we're gonna blast some stuff, compare the two guns to each other, and most of all, just have some fun. But before we get started, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Olight. So this is their new flashlight. This is the Warrior X Pro. It's got some size to it. You can get it in OD green, desert tan, or black. It has up to 2,250 lumens and 600 meters of throw. There's a low setting and a high setting. The Warrior X is rechargeable. It comes with a lanyard and comes with a different cap in case you want to get rid of that pocket clip. And they also have this new limited edition i5T. The Warrior X Pro is going on sale January 31st. You can get any color for 30% off or bundle it with the i5T and get 40% off. So you got this sale going on January 31st, but Olight's also doing something special with this light right here, the i5T limited edition. And what's special about it is all the money made from the sales of this light are gonna be donated to help combat the coronavirus. So you can get this light for 25% off January 31st through February 2nd. Make sure you check that out and use my link in the description down below. So today we have a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum with an 8 and 3 8 inch barrel and then we have a Magnum Research BFR 500 Limba with a 7 and a half inch barrel. The Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum is a 5 shot double action revolver. And the Magnum Research BFR is a 5 shot single action revolver. So here's some ammunition. This is the 500 Magnum and this is the 500 Limba. The 500 Limba is shorter than the 500 Magnum. But the 500 Limba is actually bigger in diameter. The 500 Magnum is .500. The 500 Limba is .510. So I brought several things for us to shoot today with the 500 Magnum and the 500 line, but just kind of compare damage. But before we do, let's take a few shots at our still target. First up is the 500 line, but... Woo! That has got a lot of kick. This thing is relatively lighter than the 500 Magnum, so there's not as much weight in the front to tame that recoil. I can tell I haven't shot this thing in a while. sounded like we broke our target. I will say there's only one thing that I, I don't like about shooting this gun. It has a lot of recoil, yes, but I'm used to the recoil. But for me, at least with this particular gun, this is kind of pointy. I mean, you probably want some rubber grips on this because when you hold the revolver, you know, you tuck that thumb and you're squeezing really hard with that left hand, right? Well, that piece of metal is setting right there in your palm. So when you shoot, all that recoil is digging that piece of metal down to your palm. Um, it's not the most comfortable thing. Rubber grips would probably be a recommendation for this revolver. Next up is 500 Magnum. And since we have double action with this revolver, we're gonna use double action. <laughs> that poor piece of Poor piece of steel. <laughs> I would not want to be that piece of steel right now. All right, well now we're gonna set up a few things on that table over there. We're gonna blast them with the 500 Magnum and the 500 line button and compare the damage. So first up, we're gonna shoot some paper. I got some old tractor supply catalogs. These are about an inch thick. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 24 of these. First up is the 500 line button. We're gonna be using some Buffalo bore ammunition. These are 435 grain hard cast, moving at around 1300 feet per second. So what I'm saying is, is this is gonna hurt my hand. <laughs> For the 500 Magnum, we have some Underwood ammo. These are 500 grain hard cast and they're moving at about 1500 feet per second. So 500 Limba, 500 Magnum. Oh. Let's see here. Is there a round in here? Yep. There's a round right there. 
So that bullet is in the bottom spot. The bottom spot was 500 Magnum, top spot was 500 line bow. Here's the 500 line bow, which we found right here. So it went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books and stopped. It looks like the 500 Magnum, it managed to push through book number nine and then almost make it through number 10. So there you go, you got both of them. I'll pick them up later, I promise. So next we have some VCT tile. This is not very thick, but it's really, really tough stuff. Not really sure what it's made out of. It's some sort of a plastic, I'm sure. You find this in factories, offices, stuff like that. I have a whole pile of this. I'm gonna stack it up and see how we do. 500 Limba, 435 grain hard cast. Piece of that came back and hit me in the face. We'll shoot it again, but I'm gonna back up a little bit. So this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, that just looks like energy transfer, but the round has stopped right here on number 10, or at least what's left of it. I am gonna set these back up. I'm gonna shoot right here with the 500 Magnum. We'll see how that goes. 500 Magnum, and again, the 500 grain hard cast. Gonna scoot back a little bit. Well, that definitely hit the tile a little bit harder. Whoa, look at that. That is crazy. There's the round right there. So one, two, three, four. Whoa, it's really kind of hard to tell because this chunk is right here and the rounds right here didn't actually stop in the tile that is so crazy well that is mangled looks like it stopped right there so one two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 14, 14, 15, 16, 17. So about 17 is how many the 500 Magnum made it through. Golly, that is crazy. Look at that, it just compressed them into this tile booger. <laughs> this is gonna be a pain in the butt to clean up. You guys are probably gonna be like, Scott, you shouldn't touch that. It's gonna give you cancer. Now we're gonna shoot some cinder blocks. First up is 500 line bud. And again, we have the 435 grain hard cast. Ooh, I'm kind of close to this one too. I'm gonna back up a little more. Dang. Well, we went through the first block, but uh, doesn't look like did any damage to the second block. Since I'm shooting further back, I'll just move you back too. 500 Magnum, again, 500 grain hard cast. Golly. Destroyed the first center block. You can see, doesn't look like we did anything to the second center block. So it's a tie on the center blocks. Okay, I've got that piece of steel set up at a slight angle downwards and a slight angle to the right. So if we were to have a ricochet, for one, it should just go into the dirt, but two, it should go that way. 500 Limba, and again, 435 grain hard cast. <laughs> Let's see if it made it through it. So here's where we hit. There's a nice dent there, but we didn't make it through. All right, 500 Magnum, 500 grain hard cast. Golly. 
Yeah, we made it through it. So there's where we hit with the 500 Magnum. You can see we went through the back and then we hit our table. Let's take a few more shots at the 500 Magnum. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with the 500 Magnum and the 500 line, but if you had to pick between the two, which one would you choose? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. Be sure and give this video a like, and if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the bell for notifications because YouTube won't always notify you when I upload a new video. The bell's not a guarantee, but at least you tried. Also, be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.